Isn't it beautiful? The Roman Empire has well and truly been built to its glory. And today we're going to be ending this story once and for all with a massive war against the Carthaginians, hopefully taking all of Spain. And I would actually quite love to take Carthage itself as a big FU to the Carthaginians. However, we'll see if that is possible, but I think it will be. So yes, this is going to be the final episode in the Life of a Legionary series. I I feel like at this point we are well and truly beyond the strongest faction in the game. We have 29,000 soldiers. There's basically no one that can contend that could probably even fight every single faction in the game at the same time. We've of course taken all of Italy, Corsica and Sardinia, Sicily, all of Germany and, well sorry, half of Germany and all of France we've conquered and we've even pushed our way up into Hadrian's Wall. So it has well and truly been a fun campaign and I think going ahead and conquering Spain will be a nice little cherry on top to finish this one off. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And as we build this army, uh, bringing together as many of our elite soldiers as possible, I do want to say a massive thank you just to everybody who has watched and supported this series. It has been so much fun and I wanted yeah, to say thank you. And of course, I wanted to finish off this series with an episode because I know many of you really do enjoy watching these. So yeah, hopefully going forward, we're going to go ahead and do something even more more fun so do stick around on the channel let's build up this army uh, and then let's hit Carthage I'm not sure where we're going to be going first because as you can see Carthage are also currently fighting the I guess Portuguese Romans now I guess the smartest idea is to hit these castles let's maybe head up north and just set that under siege immediately one of the actual really nice things as well about being as strong as we are is just simply how like powerful my companions are as well like all of my boys and that like i've got an army right i've got a 1700 man army but as I'm sieging this, the boys are also setting up their own forces. You can see two of these guys have both now risen armies up. And they're going to be going over here and looking to conquer land and start putting land under siege. And, you know, kind of just winning the war for me, which is really nice and something I love to do. I would still love to actually have more control over the campaign and where the armies go and stuff. That would be really cool. But alas, we can still just kind of let the AI do their thing and conquer land for us. I think with this one, because uh, they are also fighting the Portuguese Romans, they're getting garrisons like they've only recently taken this so i'm going to utilize that to my advantage i'm going to build up and just basically uh, auto resolve these weaker battles i am going to hope for like a big old final battle against the carthaginians they're really one of the only factions that can actually match me in regards to that so hopefully they're going to be able to form up a formidable threat but yeah we can just definitely auto resolve with how many soldiers we have i mean i say that they still killed a lot but their casualties we can still take and all the prisoners are actually super nice as well because they're roman prisoners they're roman garrisons so we can we can bring them into the fold and just recruit them. We will show mercy. And again, that's another really beautiful thing about taking these settlements over here is that they are all Roman culture, which is nice. No, not surprising. They have also gone and stitched me down here. This is an important settlement to hold because that is like the gateway to Spain for the Carthaginians. It is one of what, two ferry ports? Yeah, it's one of two ferry crossings. So as long as we own this castle, the Carthaginians can't really make their way in. So let's head down south, even though... One of my other armies of 1,300 men are also going down there. So maybe they can just deal with themselves. We also have another army of 1,000. I've got like 2,000 men here. That is insane how powerful we are. Oh, annoyingly, they were able to conquer that. That's fine, but we will make sure that we go and finish it off. And it doesn't like he's going to siege. Okay, that's fine. We will go down there and we'll just re-siege it, uh, conquer it. And I guess I might leave a pretty hefty garrison behind. If we can also catch this army... Wouldn't it be the worst thing in the world? Let's keep on charging. Can they escape across the ferry crossing? Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. They're going to just go there. That's fine. Let them waste their time. We could probably even catch them as well. If they come, they're still pretty scared of my army. If they glitch out there as well, that's fine with me. Okay, let's just go and set this castle under siege again. This is going to be a very quick auto resolve. Only 100 men here. And as we mentioned, my allies are actually sieging one of the castles in the north, which is nice. I think I'm literally just going to send troops right away. Yeah, we're losing like 100 men here and there, but we have the numbers to sacrifice at this point. And if it comes down to it, we can just simply go and uh, move on elsewhere. Uh, we don't need any of the equipment, of course, so let's siege that. Uh, we'll show mercy, and I won't take this for myself. Uh, we'll wait for this to actually build up a bit of a force, and I'm actually going to leave some of my garrison. Nice, my allies took that, which is really perfect. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, so far, so not too bad. We've taken two castles away from them. The forces are moving in. Hopefully can set siege elsewhere. We can head north and conquer this. Yeah. Let's not forget, though, now that we've given this over to give over a bit of a garrison as uh, as well. We don't want to like leave this pretty ill defended because by doing so, the AI is obviously going to be able to just take it again. So let's do something like that. And let's just leave. I don't know. We have such high tier soldiers. We'll leave the lower ones we can. The Germanic and the Britain soldiers who are acting as auxiliaries. Uh, some more soldiers there can go and i guess you can have some aquilas yeah we'll give them some aquilas so that's a 200 man garrison they now have there uh which again should keep that pretty safe if the militia can build up yeah that'll be fine and nice we've taken another castle in the north as well yeah this is what i'm saying this is why this series i feel like has to kind of come to an end now because we can just basically let the let our own forces kind of conquer the world and it's just not really worth our time fighting I'm going to keep an eye on this settlement. We might have to come back and save it. It should be fine, though, with a 300 man garrison. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit. Oh, yeah, we got a battle here. Uh, again, I think we're going to have to end up fighting this one. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. I feel, I feel sorry that we're bringing the entire Roman army against the forces of Carthage. They really do not stand a chance. 3,000 versus 600 is hilarious. But obviously, on the field of battle, their forces are actually, you know, decent because they're, they're bringing all of their 500 men to uh, bear to begin with. Whereas we obviously have to take it a little bit slower. We have to uh, try our best to defeat them uh, and then obviously wait for our reinforcements. We actually have a lot of cavalry, so I'm going to bring the cavalry over here. And I get, I mean, like, we can use this rock to our advantage. So, yeah, let's just push up here in, like, two lines of formations. We'll stick our 152 cavalry around the flank, and then we'll just hit them. And this should be some pretty elite cav, because it's like everyone is in my armies. All their Praetorian Guard will be joining me for this battle. So they look absolutely insane. Okay, a few javelins going back and forth. A lot of my javelins are actually going in onto the, uh, onto the cavalry, which is not really what I want. That, that'll be fine. Our other forces up here, yeah, have made their way around. Let's get the cavalry there. I mean, as soon as they do push forward, we're just going to pounce on them. Their horse is causing us a little bit of issue, uh, but nothing not too, not like nothing crazy. Their cavalry is actually really good as well. Uh, I like to see that. And there you go. We're forcing them in now. Our horses are making their way up. All the peeler is going off and just hammering their sacred band, their Spanish mercenaries, and everything else they have to bear. And then we can take this cavalry uh, and we can charge in. Charge the infantry. The 150 cavalry are about to come flying in. This is going to be beautiful to watch. Let's go, boys. Into the abyss. Oh, nice. Over the hill as well. Yeah, this is going to be really good. There's going to be a lot of them to hit through. Come on, let's get in there. Stuck in. Yeah, look at all that cavalry. Look at all that cavalry. There's actually some really good Carthaginian forces here as well. And there you go. I actually went down right there. Not too good. I am playing as an archer, so I need to get stuck back in the battle quickly. The support of the cavalry, bro, is really crunching in on the, the enemy lines. And you can see, even our front line, there's so many elite soldiers. So the Sacred Band don't really stand a chance uh, at all. Uh, let's just keep these guys charging, but we don't want them to, to fall back. Oh, wow, look at that. I think the AI is already falling their way back right now. Yeah, they're retreating. I assume waiting for their reinforcements to arrive. We are losing a lot of cavalry. Yeah, for whatever reason, their reinforcements have spawned all the way up on top of a mountain, uh, which I don't think is going to be too good for them. But we can get over there and obviously harass them, and we want to make sure we keep on putting the pressure on them. We don't want to let them escape easily. But we also, at some point, will want to uh, probably set up an another attack point because... We don't want to go too deep into enemy lines. Okay, that's probably as far as we want to go. So let's just set up our lines again. Uh, we'll be looking downhill at them, which isn't the best thing in the world, but it's still fine. We also lost a lot of cavalry on that headless charge. But here we go. We've got them set up now. A lot of their weaker units will be spawning in, and we can take advantage of that. And as they fall back as well, I can use this bow to obviously pick off a lot of the weaker ones. Okay, it looks like they are just running down the hill at us. So let's get our cavalry and charge them in. I can get some nice high ground here. Is he going to try and hit me? Let's try and headshot him. No, not going to work. But our line is now formed up. So we can charge everybody in now. The cavalry is coming. Uh, and then I'm hoping we can basically just like surround them. Because they are pretty weak on this section of the battlefield. The march is being pretty annoying. Let's get our cavalry over here, man. To go deal with the marchers. And yeah, you can see there's a lot of like lightly armored Numidians still left remaining. There is still a lot of like high higher tier units as well that's one of the great things i think about the carpaginian roster is they have such a wide variety of soldiers that you kind of just kind of kick ass at any tier really and that's one of the reasons why i love them the cavalry's over here now good job now just charge him i should pursue most of them after the enemy archers who again 
won't be able to do too much against us. We'll be able to rip through them, I'm hoping. Boom, boom, boom. Nice stuff. The Slingers are down. And the rest of the cavalry is now getting a beautiful downhill charge on their infantry. And I'm hoping that I can just sit up here and, yeah, pick away the weakened ones. Which is cool. With Artem's lively animations, you can actually see who is, like, on death door. By seeing the way that they're walking, the way they're holding themselves. Oh, my God. That poor Roman just got sent flying. And they are still fighting. Like, I'm surprised how well the Carthaginians are still holding. I mean, we haven't really received any of our reinforcements yet, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have any of our reinforcements. So this is still our initial 500 men by the looks of it. And we're going to be able to take out them. So it's not like we didn't fight them mano al mano. Yeah, there you go. And the arrow fire is doing a good job here, leveling this guy up. I'm actually really proud with how well my scouts and my medic did do. They're all like max stats. I know I'm also max stats as well, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, with my character. God, I hate how much the archers focus me. Why are they trying to kill me rather than shooting into this massive infantry blob? And they're just trying to focus down some random dude who isn't even the commander. Normally, people make the excuse of like, well, you're the commander. Of course, they'll shoot you to try and kill you. But I'm not. I'm just some random dude. We've dismounted now to try and help the boys out. Boom. That was a good shot right there. Yeah, I'm a bit more of a, an aggressive combat fighter now. This guy doesn't have... This guy's a centurion. He doesn't have any support right there. Don't worry. I'm legolessing this up. I'm going to try and protect you. I know you don't have a shield either. Go on, can I get that shot off before this guy hits me? No, I can't. Let's pull out my sword. Block that. It's showing the true devastation of Rome. There we go. Oh, no, our boy went down. How dare you? Kind of almost feel like I want to challenge this guy without a shield. Shouldn't be too difficult to take down. Boom. Nice. Now we're around the flank. Our, our bow skill should be able to pick off some more and end this battle once and for all. And there we have it. The enemy are now running from us. We're finishing off the, uh, the, the routing soldiers, which I love to see. Make sure no Carthaginians left alive. And there we have it. A nice battle right there. Only losing 86 men. Okay. We could have gone for a couple more engagements, I think, honestly. Uh, now it just leaves, allows us the ability to hopefully carpet siege them. I'm going to take them all prisoner just so they don't spawn back. Uh, and nice. Eight cavalry will take back. I'll also take the prisoners because... I wouldn't mind having some of their soldiers in my army. And, I mean, we might as well take on the 77 prisoners that we have ready to recruit. Just refill the army. Have, stops us having to go all the way back. And we'll take the 40,000 experience as well. Why not? Uh, nice. Good escape right there. And we caught this guy. So I'll finish this guy off. And then I think we'll go and try and siege some more land. So with that, our food is still looking okay. So where do we go? I think I'm going to head north. I'll let these armies fight down here in the south and we're going to head north because again, this castle I think was recently taken in their Carthaginian war against the uh, Portuguese Romans. So by taking this, it should be pretty easy just to auto resolve it. Not a battle that we need to kind of waste time on, but we'll see. Maybe it will have a decent garrison as some castles do spawn. Yeah, that's actually a decent garrison. This is So this is probably a siege we're going to actually have to fight. Okay, let's do this then. Uh, they do have food left and we could starve out the garrison if we wanted to to reduce the numbers. But at this point, again, none of it really does matter. Like, we can just blitz through and take land as we as we want. I would actually have loved to push in and, and maybe made a breach, but we just didn't have the time before the garrison starved out. Oh yeah, I forgot as well that we're using a bow and arrow. Nice, so we can actually just zoom our way up here and actually start harassing them instead of having to get up there in the front lines. I feel like we've used the Pelum so much in this playthrough. Uh, it's been our primary weapon of choice for sure. Uh, it's nice to actually use a bow, uh, but I will say that our, our, our skill with this longbow is not good. As you guys can see, look how long it takes me to draw it let alone actually hit something. Okay, is this going to be a lucky hit right there? Oh my god, our skill is so bad. It should be a bit... There we go, finally a kill. That's going to save many a man's life, isn't it? Uh, is there any more? There is a lot of arrow slits right here. Is there anybody in there? I, think I can't see. I don't know where all their soldiers are. They're not really on the front lines. Okay, there's another boy there. Let's see if we can load this bad boy. That's actually a slinger. Okay, and he's run away. He knows. Oh my lord, look at all the Pelum going off. It's so funny how the AI just throws him in. Uh, there's no point holding on to it, though, because it doesn't really do much when we're inside the settlement. However, we continue to pick off a few of these archers. Nice. That was actually a one shot right there. Okay. Good job, man. Okay, the, uh, the battering ram's up. We can help out with a battering ram. Let me let me smash down this gate. Because this is, again, one of the easiest ways to break through. I found that the siege towers really aren't very good. Uh, I don't know if it's RBM or just vanilla, but the AI has so much hard, like so much of a hard time getting through them walls. Uh, they just struggle so much. Boom. Okay, we're through here. Let's keep on pushing them. And one of the nice things is actually we can help out here. 
with the uh, the archers firing down, I can actually try and pick. Can I? Can I get the angle or not? Because that guy, that guy with a rock always kills me. I don't think I can. I think I need to go back a little bit more. Okay, that's still not enough. Yeah, I think I have to go back like here, and I should be able to hit them just like in the ankles, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Hey, there's, there's the guy with the arrow with the rock. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Bring him down! Draw the bow! Oh my god, good, we got him. Nice. That's gonna save many a Roman life. Nice, the boys are through there. Good job. Keep on pushing. Okay, let's keep on just picking off these guys. And yeah, I mean, to be fair, the Carthaginians are pretty deadly. There's another rock thrower there. Oh my god, we missed. We missed. Come on, load, 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 load. God, it takes so long to draw. There we go, good. Dodge that. Yeah, god, the AI just like, okay, there's, there's the captain. Gotta kill him. But it's fine. I'll return. Return the favor. So we pushed our way out here. Good, good, good. And we can even help out as well because we still have our Pelum. It's not like we don't have anything that can damage these guys. Uh, we can help push out. Yeah, there you go. Now we're out here. They're in a bit of a hard situation. Boom. Nice. Cool. The courtyard is ours. And now we can blitz the rest of the defenses. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean by when we get over here. Is I... But I feel like Siege Towers are just like really bad. I'm not sure if it's RBM or what. But yeah, I don't know. They just don't really... I guess because it's like... Because it's got RBM combat. I feel like the AI struggles to get off the Siege Towers. Where in vanilla, they're much better. And look at the men just pour in now. This is great. And this is also an amazing firing position. We can really get some good level up here with our bow skill. And look at that. Like, the archers have turned around to shoot me. Rather than, you know, fighting the men on the walls. Gods. I kind of wish I had, like, a Pavise shield or something. You know, just stick down in front of me to duck behind. Because I'm getting, like, shot from archers, like, over there. And over here, they're, like, focusing me down rather than the immediate fight. Uh, I wouldn't complain there uh, at all. But, yeah, we've broken through now. The last, like, couple remnants of the defenders are going down. They did rack up a decent amount of kills on us, though. I will give them credit. They took down 222 of us. Like, that's not bad. I mean, we have, like, another 2,000 men sitting in reserve. But... Hey, it's better than, than, than nothing. Boom, there we go. Battle won. Nice. Again, a few casualties, but we just want to basically secure the northern perimeter. And now we can rely on the uh, the other forces in the south to kind of conquer what remains. And I think we then launch an invasion of Carthage itself. So yeah, they only Carthage only had this castle left remaining. Uh, oh, they asked. Whoa. Oh, the, of course, the Germanians have declared war on me and immediately are sieging me. My God, I have to tell you, this has been the most frustrating thing in the entire world is fighting the Germanians. Every second they exist, they are exist to destroy me. Literally, no matter what I'm doing, I could be like just perfectly at peace. They declare war. I could have 28,000 more soldiers in them. They declare war. They are just so annoying. And I guess that is really representative of the actual Germanic tribes. I'm not sure how much of a good gameplay mechanic it is. Um, but yeah, they are just so aggressive. And I think they need to be toned down just a tad. Beautiful stuff. We just have so many forces. It's disgusting, right? We just absolutely rinse them. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the AI to conquer this stuff in Spain. Yeah, we're going to let the AI go and conquer this stuff in Spain. I'm going to take maybe an extra couple couple hundred soldiers and we're going to sail across from Sicily and we're going to invade Carthage and that will be our final, uh, our final goal is to sail across from from uh yeah from sicily to carthage and we basically take this settlement right here sacking it and then in turn finishing the carthaginians once and for all one really nice thing as well we can actually do is now as we're making our way down south we can just go on a mass recruitment spree and all of these settlements actually have tier six soldiers in them so as people recruit they're recruiting like the best of the best which is nice but when we hit rome which is just you know in front of us we're gonna be able to steal like the entire garrison to get us up to full strength so we should be setting sail and landing in africa with a good like five fifteen hundred men yeah oh my lord look at how many soldiers we have we're gonna take all okay i'm gonna put actually everything back we're gonna go by what tier yeah everything can go back uh, and then we set by tier and we just grab yeah all the best soldiers there's 300 tier fours that's insane all the cavalry as well uh, and then, yeah, we can barely take any more infantry. So all of our infantry is going to be absolutely cracked. Nice. And we still, I think we feel like we've left like a bigger garrison there. Uh, 1,400 men. Anybody else you want to bring along with us who is like close by? Uh, yeah, a bunch of you guys. Anybody, I guess, distance wise wants to join us? Uh, not really, no. I mean, 1,400 men plus whatever we recruit on our way down south is going to most likely be enough. 
So we make a bit of a pit stop though in Sicily to uh, get as much food as possible as we are running a little bit low. And the siege for Carthage might take a little while as we try and smash down some walls. And uh, the nice thing is though, I guess a lot of their forces are going to be very much not in Carthage. They're all going to be in Spain trying to fight us. So I think we will be getting away with a pretty nice siege. Just a casual 90k to move our army across this small passage. But I guess it's actually pretty cheap to be honest, considering we are transporting like half the army. Uh, but yeah, let's send them on to 900 men under siege here cool ideally i would like to go ahead and clear the walls before they can uh, get starved out as i want a you know big enough battle to kind of see us off i don't want to kill their garrison before we get there so let's do this hopefully we can do this before eight days are up and kind of get to a point where they don't have artillery but we might also just go if they do. Okay, I think we're good to go. We are going to let them still keep their walls. And they got two days left of food. So let's just let's just move in. We have a lot of soldiers. 1,500 versus 900, of course. And they actually have 500 men in the garrison. There's going to be like 500 professional soldiers. Oh, it's a bit dark as well. A bit eerie as we progress forward. Hopefully the torches will let stuff uh, you know, kind of keep nice and bright as we push forward. Right, I've turned it up a little bit. So hopefully it's bright enough. Let's go on this artillery feast. See if we can cause some damage. The battering ram is moving up. One thing as well, I have yet to see any modders actually attempt, is I would love to see some modders actually attempt to make like custom siege equipment, you know, like in their, their races style. I think that would be really cool. Settlement for Carthage as well, like it looks pretty cool. Our men are now making their way up. Oh, come on. They're not even stopping me at the gate. Where are their armies? I mean, mainly at the gate itself. They're like not even really stopping me here. Okay, well, let's get up there ourselves and see if we can... Uh, help out. Not gonna lie, I am kind of disappointed they're not putting up more of a fight for these walls. We are seemingly already inside of the settlement, so I don't know where the rest of our like 500 men are. We can kind of move right, maybe clear out a few of these soldiers who are uh, kind of positioned on the flank, just firing down. We have a lot of good positions. It's a cool settlement, it really is. But we'll be able to kill these guys quite quickly as the Carthaginian archers. I feel like Rome are like the only faction with like armored archers, which means like their archers are actually pretty good. But I think in general, just archers are just not very good in, in in eagle rising because of just how big shields are and how you know defensible they are i think you're much more going to be relying on like skirmishes to go and do the damage like getting skirmishes around the flank uh which i guess is more more error appropriate you know archers were still valuable but you know skirmishes are the ones that really get the damage done which i like to see and i guess you're relying on more mobile archers as well like horse archers and stuff that's why it'd be really cool if they get like persia done persia would be a really fun fact and obviously you already have the sake with their horse archers able to circle around and do lots of damage to the Romans, but yeah, it'd be cooler to see some stronger stuff. Oh, look at that as well. We're also now engaging down here in the south. Let's try and get some spears off. I also have no idea why my FPS has dropped all the way down to, to 13. I guess the AI is like trying their best to like organize their forces. What if I do a good old uh, F1, F3? No, okay. It's just going to sit me back here at 13 FPS for whatever reason. The nice thing is, however, we do have a bow, so we can actually start utilizing this to the firing down here, trying to get some extra kills before the infantry uh, really make it through the gate. All right, I jumped off of the walls, and that seemingly uh, did the trick right there. Uh, when I say I jumped off the walls, I actually just phased through the uh, the walls themselves and fell to my death, but we didn't talk about that. Seems like the AI and all their wisdom as well just decided, yeah, you know what? I, I'm just not going to go through the gate. Like, the gate seems a bit, you know, annoying to go through. So we're just going to ignore it completely and focus in on the ladders, which I guess isn't the worst idea in the world, considering the Carthaginians aren't putting up much of a fight there. But I don't know. The gate seems like the, the number one priority, honestly. Oh my lord, the amount of green that's just shown up on the right-hand side. Cutting them to pieces. I guess we've, uh, yeah, looked to engage their forces here or something. Yeah, there is a, a lot of unfortunate... Uh, dead bodies here as well. Yeah, down there. You can see the, the fighting in the streets has been brutal. We'll block that with our flag and finish that guy off. Yeah, you can see we are now fully engaging. Out of interest, do we have access to any of the the rocks up here that we can throw down on them? I'm not sure. Not sure we're going to need them either. Yeah, here they are, but we just honestly don't need them. The boys are running through now. We are, yeah, we, we are crumbling their defense. There's only a handful of them left now. Yeah, 15 of them. Nice. Carthage. Carthage has been taken. And I imagine if I wanted to, I could probably just steamroll like all of Africa's. Because their army, their armies are like solely in, in Spain right now. I say that solely. They do not have many men left in Spain at all. 
We only have one settlement left in Spain. Boom, where is the enemy capital taken? And of course, and of course, don't you worry, thinking I would just show mercy. No, we'll be sacking. We will be sacking the settlement, and I'll be taking it for myself as a prize. We will devastate it and taking it for myself immediately. Because why wouldn't I? And I feel like it wouldn't be this series if we didn't just crash right there at the end. Because, you know, that's kind of what this series has been all about. Especially if you've been watching the live streams, just issue after issue. I'm not going to go ahead and put a dampener on things, though. It is clearly just like a big old memory leak when uh, Bannerlord tries to save. And obviously my 3090, 4090 doesn't like that. Whatever reason it is, uh, it definitely has plagued this series. But still, I feel like we've had some amazing times during it. So as, as we wrap this up i want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the series let's see if we can get 250 likes for the last episode that would be amazing to see and maybe in the future when we add in the greeks which they are currently working on will return for a life of a hoplite series which i think will be very very fun so yeah finally make sure you subscribe if you haven't already i hope everyone had a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one